If you think that Jotform is just a form builder for WordPress, well, you're not alone. I believe that too. Well, up until a few weeks ago, that's when I discovered they've quietly built a complete ecosystem around it. I was so shocked, I actually jumped on a call with their team to figure out what was going on. And what I found out blew me away. It gives you tools like tables, apps, workflows, e-signatures, smart PDF reports, stores. Yes, you can sell using Jotform now, Team Collab, and also, here's the game changer, AI agent that provides powerful automations that can analyze, respond, and take action on your data without you lifting a single finger. So let me walk you through how it's evolved, highlight the key features, and let me show you why the groundbreaking AI agent will completely change the way you think about Jotform. Everything in Jotform still begins with something simple, a form, but the magic happens in what comes next. So let me show you how a single form can become the start of your entire client pipeline. From your dashboard, the very first thing you'd be asked to do is to create a form. So let's click on this together. And already from here, you can see how Jotform has evolved from just a form builder to a complete automated workflow. As you can see here, it says you can create smarter forms, collect and manage data, automate workflows and stay organized all in one place. Or like we said, we start with a form and here you can either start from scratch or use a template, a smart PDF form. If you want it signed, you can use an e-sign form or you can import one all together. Now check this out guys, you can choose among thousands of different templates and they all serve different purposes. Could be registration, a payment form, application form, file upload, booking form. There's a complete booking system built in as well, including appointments. Let me show you quickly here. So if you were to use this one here, let's have a quick preview and let's have a look. If you scroll down the page, as you can see, it's built in with a complete booking system. So again, like we said, this is a complete workflow based from a simple form. Let's use this as an example. And now you can edit your form in the form builder using their simple drag and drop features. As you can see, the headings, full name, email, and so on and so on. So you can customize every aspect of your form. And if you scroll down, you have a quick preview of what it looks like. So again, super handy, super easy. You have additional settings as well that you can fully customize, including conditional logic integration as well. Like for instance, send your submission directly to WhatsApp so you never miss a beat. You can log this in immediately into your Google Calendar. You have Google Sheet, you have Salesforce, you have MailChimp, Twilo, Google Drive, DocuSign, Stripe. What else? We have Slack, we have Trello, Airtable, Zoom. As you can see, the list is very, very comprehensive indeed. So you can connect to a multitude of third party apps. And here's where things get really interesting. JotsForm approval workflow means you can set up automatic routing or routing if you are from the other side of the pond. So back to our form builder, if you go to the workflows, this is where the magic happens. So let's create one together just to show you what it's capable of. Very good. And from here, you can build your complete workflow. So the starting point obviously is your form. So in our case here, this is an appointment request form. So what do you want to do after this? Do you want to send an email, add this to your task, ask them to sign it? You can send it for approval or team approval. And then you also have, as you can see here, logic. So this is conditional logic, which will help you to redirect the form and the submission to a specific department, for instance. So let me show you a quick example here. Maybe you can add a conditional branch. So let's add this together, okay? So we're gonna create the branch. So I click on add condition, add new branch. And let's say if the feedback type is equal to, and select any of those options is a comment, I'm going to save this, I'm going to add another one as well. So again, if the feedback type is equal to, and this time is a suggestion, or if the feedback type is equal to, and then finally our last option is a question, save. Now we're going to save this, and now we can redirect that to different departments. How do you do so? Very easily. Go back here. So the first one, I'm going to send an email perhaps. Okay, so we can put it next to it. So let's put this here. Okay, and now we're going to link this together. So what you do is go back here and then link it to this one. 
and now we can select a branch. So let's say if the feedback is a comment, we're going to send an email, okay? And obviously you can customize the email itself. Now let's say if it's a feedback, we're going to send an email as well. So I'm going to put this here underneath, okay? And again, we we'll grab this and then draw an arrow between the two, select the branch. So again here, so this is maybe a suggestion, okay? So again, I'm going to send an email. And maybe for the third one, if it's a question, you want the sales team to get onto it immediately because it could be a sales inquiry or something like this. So in this case, we can choose something else. Maybe you can integrate that with our Slack account. So we receive a message on our public or private channel directly onto Slack. So we can get onto it immediately and never miss a beat. But again, like we mentioned, there's so many different mediums here. As you can see, this is a very comprehensive list. So again, very, very powerful tool. The workflow is going to help you to automate your sales pipeline. Very good. So now, do you need to take payments? Well, no problem whatsoever. JotForm connects with all major gateways like Stripe and PayPal. And you can even build your entire store inside JotForm. So this is ideal for selling products, services, or even subscriptions. So back to our dashboard. Let's create this together. And check this out, guys. We can build our own app. So an app is not just a store. You can build your store. We can build any sort of app all together. So let me show you this. And again, they make your life super easy. You can choose among 700 plus ready-made templates. So some of them are, for instance, company portal app, customer portal app, insurance app, online service app, or like we see here by the side, a scheduling app, a booking app, event registration app, and so on and so on. And the beauty of this, it's mobile ready. So anyone can use it on the go and book an appointment or purchase something online. So in our case, we're going to build maybe a shop together as an example. Okay, so you have online store templates. So what are you selling? Electronics, tickets, products, secondhand selling, apparel, food, e-commerce. That's really up to you. Let's go maybe with electronics. And then you can select a pre-made template. So maybe this one here. Okay, let's have a preview. Okay, if you're happy enough, you can use the template. And there you go. In just a few seconds, you have a ready-made e-commerce website selling gadgets and electronics that's fully compatible for mobile phones. And anyone can purchase your products on the go directly from your app which is designed for mobile first experience but you can also display this obviously on tablets and desktops and now this is the centerpiece of the whole ecosystem jotform ai assistant so it's a native no code assistant that lives on your wordpress website and answers in real time so let me show you how to set it up. So let's pretend you run a pet shop and you have an e-commerce website to sell all the different products that you have in the shop. And very often people come to your website maybe after opening hours, you may be not available or something like this. So what can you do? Well, it's very simple. You can install an AI chatbot that will do all the heavy lifting for you and answer all these questions your visitors may have. So for this, all you have to do is go to the WordPress dashboard, go to your plugins, Add new plugin and right here in the search box, look for JotForm AI chatbot. So this is the very first one here on top. So click install and activate. Very good. And now by the side, we have a JotForm AI chatbot tab. So let's click on this together. Excellent. So ready to build your AI chatbot? Yes, absolutely. So let's start. And now you need to give it access. So if you are already logged in in another tab, it will do that automatically. All you have to do is to allow it. And now we need to set up our AI chatbot. So what is it used for? So obviously, depending on your website, it could be for registration, job applications, uh, feedback, appointments. So in our case, we're running an e-commerce website. So let's give it some instructions. So perhaps something like this, provide customers advice on the different products available on our online catalog. And right here underneath, they'll give you a few different options you can choose from to improve your prompt. So for instance, this one will add and answer detailed questions about their specifications, uses, benefits, and acting as a virtual product expert. This is exactly what we need. So let's select this one instead. So there you go. And obviously you can customize this to fit your exact business model and what you want the AI chatbot to do exactly for you, okay? So let's create the AI chatbot. And as you can see, it started creating this for us. So this won't take too long. Very good, so there you go, that's been created for us. We have a quick preview here, so that looks absolutely fantastic. But now you can customize literally everything from it, every aspect that you want. So first, you're gonna select your agent avatar. So 
Who's it going to be? This lovely lady here, this gentleman, a cowboy. You have someone who's backpacking here. You have a doctor, a chef, a painter. As you can see, it's a very large selection which should fit normally any type of industry. So let's go ahead with maybe with the default one for now. Okay, let's keep this one. And then you can personalize everything here underneath. So you have the name, the age, your role as well, you know. So it could be customer service agent instead. Okay, let's change this to that. We have the language as well. The tone of voice. Do you want it to be professional, casual or friendly? Again, depending on the type of business that you have, feel free to select any of those. I'm just going to go with friendly here as an example. Okay. And obviously here immediately at the start, he's going to ask you a question. Uh, how can I help you and all that? So this is basically your question here, your initial question. Feel free to customize this as you see fit as well. We have the chattiness here, minimal, short, long or chatty. This feature alone is very handy to convert even more. And then you have the chat guidelines. So you can add this yourself as you see fit as well to customize this even further. And then we have the agent style. So this section clearly is all about customizing the overall layout. So as you can see, these are the main colors of our website. So we can find a lovely color that would match this or work well together. So let's have a quick look here. So could we have maybe this one here in orange? Okay, so that's not too bad. So let's use that color theme for now. And as you can see, you can change all the different aspects here, the button, the font, uh, the chat theme color, and so on and so on. And then we have the visibility as well. So that's basically how much space you want it to take on your website, the position, uh, do you want to add pulsing and so on and so on so again very handy indeed and then you have the knowledge base and this is the amazing part of this tool as you can see this is an auto trained knowledge so your ai chatbot is automatically trained with your website's content such as pages posts and more to provide a smarter more relevant experience to your user so i'll just to show you now how this works all you have to do is add new knowledge and how do you do so? Well, you can add text-based information, maybe copy and paste for a document or something like this. You can upload a document all together. You can crawl specific URLs or provide questions and answers that your chatbot can use in conversation. So again, very, very interesting feature indeed. Very good, so happy with this. So let's try the feature. This is working fine here. And now let's put this to the test in the front end, okay? So we go back to our website. So let's refresh our page and scroll down. As you can see, the AI agent is here and now we can ask a question, okay? So maybe I'm looking for a sweater for my dog and see what happens. So let's send this. So it's thinking, very good. As you can see, we have a banana sweater and all that. So it's giving us all the different options here. So banana sweater, 32, a cute little puppy sweater for 35, both perfect for your dog. As you can see, it's advising you in real time, you know? And here are the products, banana sweater with the images you can see, and then cute little puppy sweater. And now you can view the details here or add to cart immediately. So let's have a look at the details here. It's going to open the page. And as you can see, <laughs> very, very cute indeed. So if you love dogs, if you like dogs, this is very, very cute. And you might just buy it then, you know, you can add to cart or you can do that immediately from here. And there you go. That's been added to our shopping cart. Now you can go back here if you want to. As you can see, you have the details again, so that's really up to you. Maybe you want to have a look at the other one instead, and so on and so on. So this is very, very handy, guys. As you can see, this is going to help you generate more sales and conversions on your website, increase revenue as well with this fantastic AI chatbot. So if you want to see more deep dive like this one, let me know in the comment section which tool or workflow would you like me to cover next. And don't forget to check the link below to try JotForm for yourself.